the heart of Europe, the summer of 2013, the May Day Festival for supporters of Jobbik, Hungary's ultra-far-right political party. Just three years ago, it exploded onto the political scene on an anti-Semitic, anti-Roma gypsy ticket. It's now the country's third biggest party. We're here to find out why. Why do respectable looking middle-aged men feel comfortable doing the Nazi salute here? Why is it that as well as a bouncy castle and a petting zoo, there's fascist memorabilia for sale? Horse whips. On stage, heady nationalism. Off stage, a Zeke Kyle with a fan and some anti-Roma racism. Az jöjjön uh, ide Magyarországra, és legyen egy uh, roma bűnözőnek a szomszédja, és akkor majd meglátjuk, hogy mit mond, hogy mennyire lesz bárki is rasszista, akkor, hogyha uh, itt Magyarországon a cigány bűnözés áldozata van esik. Like any festival at night, a change of mood. Are you like, are you racist? You know also. What? Are you racist? What do you mean racist? I don't get a straight answer. They say it's all about national pride. Hungarian national, national in bird, of to rule, to rule. Okay, okay. Who's this guy? You all right? A Jobbik official interjects. Where are you from? Channel 4 News. Channel 4 News, what is it? Which country are Oh, from the UK. UK, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why are you here? He steps back, Welcome consults with colleagues. Okay. We overhear someone say, Jewish liberal media. What's that about? Uh, where are you from? Uh... Are there any Jews here? What? Are there any Jewish people here? Jews? Yeah. She don't care, that's my good. Is that? Here? No, no, no. What? Jews? Then someone came up behind our producer and hit him on the side of the head. Provocative questions, party over. Jobbik scraped along the bottom for years. Then the financial crash. In the 2010 elections, slick TV ads and a social networking campaign presented bankers and then gypsies as parasites. There are many differences between the Hungarian far right and our own BMP or English Defence League. For one thing, they enjoy the theatrics. They enjoy putting on a good show. They're also well organised. They're well resourced. And unlike our own BMP, they have their own uniformed militia. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hungarian National Guard. <laughs> Depending on who you ask, this is a volunteer civil defence group, or right-wing vigilantes, or Jobbik heavies. If, for example, there's a problem with Roma gypsies, they'll move into that neighbourhood and patrol. There are hundreds of these unarmed volunteer guards slash vigilantes across the country. Josef Anansi is captain of the Budapest Brigade. Who are you guarding Hungary against? Két legnagyobb, tehát van egy belső problémánk, ez a, ez a cigánybűnözés, és van egy külső, ez pedig a zsidó térhódítás, tehát ez a kettő, ami tudjuk azt, hogy a, a globalista, cionista nagy tőke irányítja az egész világot, az Egyesült Államokat is, illetve az Európai Uniót is, és annak köszönhető, hogy olyan helyzetbe került ez az ország a rendszerváltás után, amibe került. Josef said his world feels under siege from the political elite, from financial institutions, straight through to the gypsies in his neighborhood. This uniform, the Jobbik message, is about him reasserting control. Across the road, two of the most unlikely of Jobbik supporters. Government steal everything. And the people very poor. So, so you see Jobbik as sort of fresh, fresh, fresh new fresh, politics? Fresh, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Where are you from? I'm from Syria. By now, Joseph has warmed to us. Turns out he's a dad, a part-time night security guard. He's got tattoos. He tells me 
When I'm facing you with a smile, I'm an angel. When I turn my back on you, I'm something else. To understand what something else really is, you have to leave Budapest and travel into the party's rural heartlands to Gingispata. The far right and their heavies brought international infamy to this sleepy village. There's the ethnic Hungarian part and the Roma part. Two villages, one Jobbik mayor. Mert az itt élő lakosság kérte a segítségüket, mert akkor nagyon rossz volt a bűnügyi helyzet a településen. Mindez a hazai közéletben tabu témának számított, a jobbik merte fölvállalni, hogy hogy ezzel a valós társadalmi problémával is foglalkozik. It turned out to be a lot more than just talk. Not long before the local elections, a rumor started spreading that an elderly man in the village had committed suicide because of Roma harassment. Jobbik capitalized. They held rallies. The heavies were called in. Hundreds of militia arrived to patrol the gypsy neighborhood. In the end, the Hungarian Red Cross had to evacuate some of the Roma families. The Roma community leader remembers. De ezek a nácik megálltak minden háznál, mire a cigán dögöljetek meg, stb. stb. illetetlen szavakkal rágalmaztak minket. But what of the suicide that sparked it all? We found the elderly man's son. It was the first time he'd spoken to a journalist. He said his dad was unwell. He said he didn't know exactly why he took his own life. But he also said that he got on very well with his Roman neighbours. In fact, he said, he liked them very much. Like any modern successful political party, Jobbik are opportunists, masters of the political dog whistle. They recently held a rally in Budapest, a protest against the decision to hold the World Jewish Congress there. Everyone showed up. Yosef, assorted militia, the party leader. And this man, he's the deputy leader, the party's rising star. Educated at Trinity College Dublin, a former analyst with accountancy giant KPMG. If Jobbik won next year's Hungarian election, what would they actually do? First up, a ban on foreigners buying land here. Next up, how to deal with the global Jewish conspiracy to take over Hungary. This is the first step and the most important step uh, to see who, uh, what sort of uh, identity and what sort of, sort of loyalty uh, Hungarian parliamentarians, hun Hungarian members of government and Hungarian civil servants have So to country. check whether people have dual citizenship of Israel and Hungary? Yes, Hungary. exactly. Be because we have all the reasons to believe that uh, after the... And what, make a list of those people? I did not, I never said, look, I'm a member of parliament. I, it's not my duty to who, investigate who, this issue. Whose duty is it then? Sorry? Whose duty is it? The Secret Service. So, complete with all its dark historical resonance, the third biggest party in Hungary wants the Secret Service to draw up a list of people in public life who have dual Israeli-Hungarian citizenship. <laughs> That night, the World Jewish Congress put a boat trip on for delegates. Organizers said they decided to convene in Hungary to highlight the rise of anti-Semitism here. There was a heavy security presence on the boat and on the banks of the Danube. With the women's delegation, all talk was of Jobbik and the rise of the far right. This is already something that we have, we as Jews, have to be afraid of, and I think that the whole world have to be afraid of. Because we thought that after the Holocaust, it won't repeat again. And what we see now in Europe, it's very, very frightening. That God forbid, God forbid that it will repeat itself. It was recommended we go see the memorial by the Danube to the Jewish people killed by a fascist militia during the Second World War. They were rounded up on the banks of the river, one by one told to step out of their shoes before the gunshot rang out.